Hi, this is Heather, and welcome to Learn It Tuesday. Today I wanted to walk through some pretty quick ways to print multiple um, journaling cards. I'm using Becky Higgins Project Life journaling cards and title cards for these examples. So as you can see, I have both a title card here, which is a 4 by 6 sized card, uh, and also a journaling card, which is a 4 by th almost 3 sized card. And first thing I just want to show you is if you go and you look at the image size, you can see that it is basically 300 dpi, pixels per inch. Um, not sure why it's 299.99, but let's move along. We're going to open up a brand new file, US paper sized, um, but because I already sketched it out, I know I want it to be horizontal, and I don't have a horizontal, so I'm just going to type in 11 by 8.5, and, and I want my resolution to be identical to what my journaling cards are, so 300 pixels per inch. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on my grid. And this is really just to make a, a little double check that the cards are the size that I think that they are, and also it helps just a little bit in laying out multiple cards. So I just drag the, the first card up there. It's already the right size. I don't have to do anything. I'm going to make an entire page of just this one journaling card, but you could paste... Um, six different journaling cards in if you wanted to. All I'm doing is duplicating layers and sliding them over until I have a, a sheet full uh, of journaling cards. So you can really fit six on an eight and a half by eleven with this particular method. When you go to print this this page your printer, if it's a photo printer, should have an 8.5 by 11 borderless option. And you really need that or else you will have clipping or uh, downsizing occur on your printout. Um, so as you can see, I'm changing it to borderless, and then you can see that there is the nice white border of our background paper around the whole image before we print. So the next thing that I'm going to do is open up another horizontal blank file to put some of the 4x6 title cards in. Again, make sure it's set to 300 pixels per inch and basically follow the same process. Where we're going to deviate just a little bit here is um, once I have my first two cards in, you can actually fit a third card, but you do have to rotate it. So if you just watch along, I'll show you how to rotate that third card. And as you can see, I like to use the actual uh, tool options to see exactly that I'm getting that 90 degrees. Just makes cutting a lot easier if it's exactly 90 degrees and not 89 or 88. Um, and that's just my preference. And now I wanted to move along real quick to Aperture for those users who use Aperture or have it available to them. I'm going to select six journaling cards because I know that's what will fit on an 8.5 by 11 page. And then when I go to my print window, um, we'll zoom in here a little bit so you can see it up close. I have quite a few custom presets. A few came with um, Aperture that are just preloaded, and quite a few are ones that I've created for myself. I have one created that's specifically for the journaling cards. And kind of the key points is that you want to make sure that it's borderless 8.5 by 11 again, landscape and your image size is 4 by 3. I'm not going to necessarily set that right away um, because it, it'll change and, and you can see here as I'm kind of changing some of the values on the rows and the columns, um, it'll change that to kind of what auto fits. So if you say you want four columns, well you can't fit a three inch wide journaling card anymore. Um, so you, you want to make sure of that, um, that when you're done making all your changes that your photo size is still a 4x3 photo. And Becky has these sized 4 by almost 3. And so what, what Aperture does is if you limit it to max 4 by 3, it doesn't um, force those to be 4 by 3 unless you check crop image to fill. So as long as that isn't checked, it's going to print out max height of 4, which leaves the width to be almost 3. So a few more of the styles that I've got in here preset are for the 4x6 title cards. And really here it just uh, souped up those 4x3 cards to fit in a 4x6. Um, and then I've got some 
four by six photo presets where I have um, presets that'll resize to a, a three by three square or a two and a half by two and a half inch square. And and again, what it's doing is it's making these two and a half by um, whatever would be appropriate for a horizontal width. It's not actually forcing them to be a square because I don't have that crop image to fill check marked still. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Uh, leave me some feedback, any ideas that you have for next week. Thanks a lot. This was Learn It Tuesday with Heather.